Hey, what's going on? Rich here. I've got this 50cc Tau Tau I picked up for like 30 bucks off uh, Facebook Marketplace. If you want to follow along, I'm making a playlist out of this. It was mostly in one piece when I got it, but if you want to follow along and see how I restore it and hopefully get it running, actually I did have it running already, um, follow along. Link should be in the description for the first video in the series. Okay, for some reason the audio didn't work on my camera, so I'm recording this later on. Taking that pilot jet, it looks like, what I was just looking at, set it down. What am I going after here? Okay, I got this wire brush. What am I going to do with that? Okay, I'm going to clip off uh, just a little strand of that wire brush, snip it off with a pair of dikes. And you're gonna have a little bitty needle of a piece of wire right there to clean out these micro holes that are in a pilot jet and on the main jet. I'm trying to focus this thing here, I guess. And look at those dirty fingernails, that's nasty. Okay, so poking that through, make sure it goes all the way through. My eyes are getting bad, I can't even poke through the hole, man. Can't find that hole. Put some PB on there, okay. Get it through that hole all the way. Now look at those gnarly fingers. Okay, so it looks like there's four holes on that one. Two on top, two on the bottom. Wish I would hold this thing still. Yeah, sometimes it's hard to get in there. There's super tiny. I like your, yeah, it's a very small size wire. Didn't tell you what size. And after you get all the holes, Poke through just um i uh i had very little my the cap the spray top of my uh carb cleaner got all that uh, knocked off and it snapped that uh, tube at the top so i'm looking at these holes this is the main jet so it's got three on that side and then look like two on the other so you just poke all the way through so it comes out the other side there Sometimes there will only be one hole that doesn't go all the way through on some of these jets. It looks like these, they go all the way through on both sides, but some they don't uh, go all the way through. So just look for those on the jets that you clean. So what am I going after here? Okay, I still got that wire. And I'm getting down into the main jet there. I ended up taking this. Did I take this back apart? I think I might have took this jet back apart later and cleaned it out real good. I like, that's a little bit bigger usually hole than the little um, tiny, tiny holes that are on the sides of the jets. These uh, main jets, this is the pilot jets. Um, and is that even going in there? I think that is able to get down in there. That's pretty tiny too. Usually a bigger gauge wire can go I guess smaller gauge is actually bigger. I don't know about wire sizes, but um, yeah, try to get it down in there. You snip it off with a pair of cutters or dikes or whatever, and try to get kind of a flat on the on the very end of it, and that kind of kind of works as a little micro drill bit getting down in there. You can actually get those little micro drill bits, and they're nice for jets. And they're just like needle thin, but they're fluted and they're drill bits. And that, those are pretty good for carburetor work. I've broken all mine and got a new set in a long time. So I'm poking through that jet and using kind of like trying to grab that the edge, the very edge of the uh, jagged edge of the wire and scraping it through that jet down in there and trying to get it real good. You know, any gunk, because this did have some uh, gummy gummy crap that was in the down in the jets and everywhere. I was surprised the accelerator pump was working so well and fuel was coming out of there pretty good. So I'm really working on this pilot jet because it was hanging up. Felt like there's some goo down in there. So I really worked on this one and then probably set it back down in the uh, carb cleaner. Let's see if I did that. When I put it back in, ah, I just sprayed it. Oh, I had some carb clean left. 
Not much. I was running out. Guess I did still have some. Okay, so enough with that. That's going on to the next little bit here. That's back to the pilot jet. I was blowing through that a little bit. See if it's clear. So what I'm doing is I'll just uh, give these things a gas bath. So I got all the jets in there. Got the float in there. It was really gummy. The uh, needle I actually took out, and because I'll get a little gas on it, yeah, I'll throw that in there too. <laughs> gas isn't going to hurt it. I was thinking of carburetor cleaner. It would hurt it because the end of that needle has like a little rubber tip on it, and I didn't want to damage it, but this isn't carburetor cleaner. It's just gas. So with this other stuff, though, I might. Put a little bit of gas in there. Let me see if I got a tube here. What I'll do is find that tube. Yeah, I can maybe just pour a little gas right down in there to loosen it up a bit. Let's loosen this stuff up. I think I got a nice little handy should have a brush. Of course I don't. Let's get a nice little easy brush plastic get in there. And if all else fails, yep, got a finger in there. There we go. But the gas really isn't taking this stuff off. It's still super slime. No matter how much I rub into it there, it's moving it around, but it's not really, some of it's sticking to my finger, but it's not really dissolving this gum. So I will use a little carburetor cleaner in this right now. And I have very little carburetor cleaner left. I don't use much. Mostly what I use it for is to see if engines will start or not. Okay, not a lot of, not a lot left. Stop by the uh, carburetor cleaner store soon. Okay, just swirling this stuff around is is eating that stuff up. So this is working really good. Really, really, really fine. Doing well. And I'll put some more of that in this bowl and actually throw those jets down in there with it. So it gives it a little bath. The gas isn't going to do much. Now I can tell. All right, forceps. So much for not getting the hands dirty. Okay. So what I did here, I dumped that out. Found my forceps. Let me see if this has. Oh yeah, it's really degummed things. I'll let that soak a little, a little more, but it's doing a good job. Let's see how this float is. The float was just real sticky with gum, and it's doing good. So it's it's getting some of that stuff loose. That's awesome. Okay, so we'll put those back in. I'm just going for the. Oh, and here's the. Accelerator pump. A little rust on there. And I wonder what the hell. What the black stuff is from. And this kind of looks like it with that rust stuff. Hopefully this pump will keep working good. I'm gonna hit this with a little brush. Let's see if that takes any of that little debris off, or is this thing just kind of like deteriorating? Looks like it might be. I'm going to part a little bit. This side looks pretty good. Okay, so a lot of a lot of that gum is off there. <clears throat> I'm going to definitely throw those back in. Let's get to the jets. Okay, so I got this one here. That's the needle. And it looks like it should be fine. It was just 
brush that off a little bit. A big whoop. That doesn't need to go back in. Let's get these tubes and jets. So we got that. And this other one. That one. And I got this too. This was kind of crummy. Let's see if this loosened up at all. Bottom of that. Um, yeah, it loosened up a little bit. Might, might let that go a little more. There's still a little debris down in there. Loosening up. That gas is kind of doing it. I just like using the mildest method possible. Stuff that was in there was just old gas. Okay, and here's the spring for that. And go to the side. Is there anything else? Yeah. One more jet. Okay. Get that stuff in there. I'm going to throw some of this other stuff back in there <clears throat> just to get the remaining, any remaining tarnish and crap like that. Is that spring? Probably fine to use as it is. Yeah, with the way my hands, my fingers turned black there, I guess that uh, that rubber is deteriorating a little bit. Okay, so let's get a little spray spray up in here. I'm trying to keep it off of the uh, guess I'm gonna let those jets kind of bathe in that. Put a little spray in there, some of that gum out. And I'm going to wipe off any excess spray that I might have got because it's just going to start heating this rubber up. It's already kind of doing it. <clears throat> it's starting to, starting to sizzle. Could have put this in some other uh, container, maybe. Just want to keep that spray off of you ever seen what this stuff does to styrofoam spray it on styrofoam sometime and watch what happens i did it once i got a video of it might link it down there in the description okay so my battery power is getting low i'll let this sit for a little bit and get my power cord <laughs> 